you know, one of the reasons that uh, we don't have a vote yet, uh, there, ha there wasn't a vote this afternoon, uh, quite frankly, is because uh, the Democrats in the House don't even know what's in the bill. And so they weren't willing to commit to voting for it until they could literally print off the, the several thousand page document uh, for us to review. Um, I've said all along, I want to vote for a stimulus plan. I want it uh, to be uh, targeted and timely that will put people to work, that will be uh, the money will be well spent. Uh, two focuses that I have are number one, infrastructure, so companies like Caterpillar can sell their goods and we can put our construction trades people to work immediately, building roads and bridges, so when this economy turns around we've got some tangible assets to show for it. And the second is targeted tax cuts to individuals and businesses to be able to keep the employees they've got and also incentivize them to take more risk and grow their companies. Those are the two things to me that you can justify going out and borrowing money to stimulate the economy. Anything else in that bill that does not do one of those two things I think is a waste and a misdirection of what our focus ought to be. Well, I was very critical of the last bill that I voted on only had 60 billion out of over 800 billion dollars. In other words, 7 percent of the money was actually going to infrastructure. Uh, the Senate cut it back by 10 billion and it's now down to 50 billion on infrastructure. If that's the case, uh, that's going to be hard to swallow uh, knowing that the other 700 billion is going to be spent somewhere else. Caterpillar is such a premier company. I mean, this is one of the the, the bedrock companies of the uh, you know American economy. And when you see a company like Caterpillar in trouble and having to lay off people, uh, that's like the canary in the mine. Uh, something's wrong. And so uh, I think that the, the president was absolutely right in coming here to Peoria to talk about Caterpillar, uh, to make his uh, pitch for the need for the stimulus package. And uh, I've got to believe that Congress is going to do the right thing. Uh, I thought it was also good that he put a little bit of uh, <laughs> presidential p pressure on our own congressman because uh, this needs to be a bipartisan effort. You know, I, I'm for the stimulus package, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the in the division of the stimulus package. I'd like to have seen more of the in, in the infrastructure area because infrastructure is an investment in our country and it, it puts people to work. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of things in that stimulus package that you know, I kind of question whether it really puts people to work. Okay. We have a lot of maintenance problems in our system that needs to be taken care of. And those maintenance problems, all you have to do is, is drive out on the highway right now and you, you'll see the breakup of the road system. And there's there's a lot of things that you can do to put people to work immediately. And that's, that's doing the resurfacing. Uh, uh, you know, you can go out there and lay asphalt. You don't have to buy right away to do that. You don't have to put together great plans to do that, that can be done rather quickly. I'd probably vote for it, but I would have hoped that I would have had some input into the process. Um, because I know that we need to do something right away. But is that the perfect bill? No, it's not. It's by a long shot. There's things in it that, that I don't see that put people to work. And we're not in it just to spend money. I think we're in it to uh, uh, put people back to work and uh, uh, to get the economy rolling again.